in-depth Maine Second Cong Congressional District. As many of you guys know, Maine Second Congressional District is so crucial for multiple reasons. First, this is a swing district, and uh, it it's crucial for the House of Representatives, but more importantly, especially during the 2020 election cycle, this district will be responsible for allocating one electoral vote for the presidency. So in Maine, you have, a, they do a district method. Maine and Nebraska are the only states that do that, where instead of it's a winner-take-all popular vote, the candidate gets all electoral votes. They break it down by district. So Maine has two districts, the first and the second. First district is such a Democratic stronghold, and because the Democratic candidate will always get more than the Republican candidates in terms of votes there, the Democrats will get one electoral vote out of Maine. Then Maine's second congressional district, like, for example, in 2016, Donald Trump won this. So Trump got one electoral vote from here. And then overall, the popular vote winner out of these two districts will then win two electoral votes. Typically, it will be the Democrat, just because the second district is more of a swing district and the first district is such a safe Democrat district. So this district is so, so crucial for the Biden campaign. You think, wait, it just allocates one electoral vote. So is that really a lot? Well, let me say this. So in the election, let's say hypothetically, Biden wins Arizona, Michigan, and Wisconsin, which is very likely. It, it's not likely that I'm saying this is going to happen, but it, it's a strong possibility. And that means Trump will win Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Florida. That is a very likely scenario. That would put the candidates at a 269-269 tie. What would happen there is it would go to the House of Representatives, and then from there, the House would determine the president. And I'll go into a video going more in depth, but even though the Democrats would most likely be controlling the House, they would not actually be able to elect Joe Biden as president. Uh, so Donald Trump would be president in that scenario. So by capturing this one specific congressional district here, that would put Joe Biden over the top to become the president of the United States. So let's go through and see how this, just the history of this. So... Here you see in the blue, the blue is pretty much what Maine's first congressional district is. You see all the various counties, and you see how blue it is. Meanwhile, all these uh, yellow counties are the ones that are more, not necessarily uh, toss-up, but more they're, they're counties that will be within like a five-point margin. The red one here is the only one that will be strongly conservative this one here but the rest of these uh this website ballotpedia considering pivot counties so here you see that let's scroll down and this is what everything is saying that main second congressional district let's look at my two favorite ones uh the cook politico political report and then inside elections. I also love Politico, but that is not on there. So this is how it has been rating the races. So they're saying that it's either going to be a toss-up or tilt Democrat. That is here for the uh, race for the House of Representatives here. The House of Representatives is usually a strong determination of what's happening during the presidency, though. Is it fully accurate? No, not at all. Look at Montana, where Montana has a very popular uh, senator that's a Democrat. Meanwhile, they're such a conservative stronghold for the presidency. But this is typically a good indication. So you see here that here are all the districts in blue that President Trump won during 2016. However, they were lost during the 2018 midterm elections. So, for example, in 2016, Trump won Maine's second district, but in 2018, that was flipped. So, yes, yeah, so you look here, and you see that the Democrats won this by 1.3 percentage points in the 2018 midterms, 
But President Trump during the election won this by 10.3 percentage points. This is a district that I was actually personally up there uh, back in late February, believe it or not. I was up in Main 2nd District there. And here, you saw it was people were aggravated with the, they wanted something different going into the 2016 election. And that made those people that are typically more of a moderate swing and vote for the president. Like you look here in 2012, Obama won this by 8.6 points. That wasn't really contested. So you see how much this district is truly swinging. You have Jared Golden, who barely won his 2016, 2018 midterm election. And I expect that once again, this will be a very contested second district. This is absolutely crucial because Joe Biden will need this district in any tight race. President Trump will need this district. They Candidates aren't really putting that much of an emphasis on there because, of course, they'd rather spend money in a state like Pennsylvania, which has 20 electoral votes, compared to the main second district, which just allocates one electoral vote. But it's so crucial. For example, this is Nebraska's second district. So main second district and Nebraska second district are the two toss-up districts of the states that allocate it not through the popular vote, but a district method. 2008, Barack Obama was terrified of an electoral college tie. Therefore, he spent such heavy, heavy funding into Nebraska's second district. And sure enough, it worked in Nebraska's second district to vote for Obama. They've only done it once in the last five presidential election cycles. But if someone like Joe Biden wants to become president, this may prove crucial. And I know Mike Bloomberg, Mayor Bloomberg from New York has, well, former mayor from New York has said that he will gladly run anti-Trump campaign ads. And Maine Second District and Nebraska Second District, I personally, be, personally believe they will be crucial. Because if it's such a tight election, why would you waste any money, put it in these districts, show the people there that you care about them. So here is the race from 2018, and look at that. A difference of uh, around 3,500 votes, and that is something else. That it was less than 4,000 votes, the difference between these two candidates. And here, the election turnout was not as high as in 2016. So, therefore, it is absolutely crucial that... Honestly, right now, that the Democrats have to hope that there is a slightly lower voter turnout in 2020 for Maine Second District. I said that if there is a super high voter turnout in the election, I believe that Joe Biden will carry the presidency. This is the one exception to that. I believe that if Joe Biden wants to win Maine Second District, he'll have to A, hope that there will be lower voter turnout as shown in 2018, where Jared Golden won this with a low vo voter turnout. And B, show the people there that you care. The people, I was there and you know, had a conversation with people that lived in the main second district when I was there a few months ago. And they said they want their voices to be heard. They don't care who the candidate is. They don't care what their political views are. They just want a candidate that will show that they, the candidate, that, you know, they will really try to make change for the better for them. So here, you look at 2016 in the House race. So that was the 2018 House race. This is 2016 House race. And the House of Representatives candidates are chosen every two years. But you see here, it was just a red wave in the second district. You had, and it, here, it wasn't even close. Look at that. Over 30,000 vote difference here compared to here where it was 4,000. A 20, like around 26,000 vote difference, 25,000 vote difference. That is crazy. And you look here at 2014, once again, it went red. But 2012 here, it went blue by over 15 percentage points. So you see it's going back and forth constantly. You see, so back, just look at this. 2010 overwhelmingly went blue, the second district. 2012 with Obama overwhelmingly 
went blue. This is the house race by Obama and Biden as uh, president and VP. Then in 2014, as things were starting to shift more red there, you had overwhelming, not overwhelming, but large support going towards the GOP. 2016, when you had that red wave going into the second district, it, it was just all the GOP. Then you see 2018 start to shift back towards the Democrats. And uh, this is going to be crucial. And the House race will be a good indication of what the people there are actually feeling. So it, the Biden campaign really will need to do whatever they can to secure this district. Because as I said, in the, if, the, if Biden wins Michigan, Wisconsin, Arizona... Trump wins Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Florida. The six swing states, Trump will be elected president. That will be a 269-269 try. Tie, however, the way the House of Representatives works, which has a one vote for the state of California and one vote for Montana, where Montana and California both count as one, instead of California getting 55 times the amount based on their population. So because of that... Since there are more Republican states than Democrat states, Trump will be elected. So the Biden campaign should, I believe, spend money on that. And I wouldn't say use their own money. They want to use their own money for states like Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, you know, mainly the Rust Belt. But some of the money, they should encourage uh, Mayor Bloomberg to spend money right here in Maine's 2nd Congressional District and right here. Nebraska's second congressional district because Bloomberg has said he's willing to spend up to a quarter million dollars, I mean a quarter billion dollars to get Trump out of the White House here. So I think that they really need to spend fun funding here. My prediction here as of uh, June 2020 is that it will be tilt red. Uh, that is just based on some very small presidential polling. However, I could definitely see it going blue because uh, the people here loved the Biden-Obama presidency back in 2008 and 2012. This will be a very tight one. I believe Joe Biden, he does have to spend money there. And President Trump, I believe, should also allocate some money here. If they want Either of them want a chance at winning. So thank you guys for watching this. Uh, please subscribe if you want to see more content. And comment any su video suggestions you would like to see here. And I will be happy to make videos on that for you. So I was actually requested by a subscriber to make a video on Maine's 2nd Congressional District. So here it is. Yeah, so thank you.